Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Today I want to show you how I teach him to walk on a leash or heel. I realized that after doing all these videos and having him doing some walking around here on video that I never made a video on how I taught him to do that. It's really easy to teach them when they're young, when they're these little puppies, but the longer that you wait, the more and more difficult it's going to become. So it's good to start this like the very first week that you get them home. I think sits the very first command you need to teach them and walking on a leash should be the second and keep that ongoing. Um, when I do this, I don't even start on a leash because all these puppies, when you put them on a leash right away, they sit there and they don't let you move them. They don't like the feeling of it. That takes getting used to. So initially when I start teaching them to walk by me or teaching them to heal, I use a treat. That's what motivates these young guys. You could use a piece of food too. Uh, what, whatever seems to motivate your puppy, whatever they want to get, whatever they like. And all you're going to do, I'm just going to take them off this right now because there's no point in having them on it because this is how I would start with him. So what you're going to want to do is take that treat or piece of food or toy, whatever, in your left hand and show it to him. Keep it by your side and have him follow you to a heel. Good boy. So now he already knows how to do this so this isn't going to be the best example for you guys. Like I said, I just realized I hadn't made one on heel. It's not going to go that smooth the first time, but it's just kind of proof of concept. Don't be pulling on them. Uh, don't be yelling at them, tugging on them. All you have to do, like I said, not quite this simple right away, but they catch on quick. Put that treat near your left side and have them follow it to a heel. Good boy. And the point of that is just to get you, them used to walking alongside you, knowing they're going to get rewarded with that treat, and keeping them engaged. They, they see the treat, they know what they're looking at, so they'll look up at you, and it works a whole lot better than just trying to tug on your dog the whole time, which you see a lot of people doing. Best thing to do, find what motivates them, food, treat, toy, whatever that may be, and just go with it. I'm gonna show you one more time, just walk them in a circle here, keeping it at my side, and also give them that heel command so that they associate that with walking next to you. To a heel. See how he's jumping up at it? That's okay. You just want him to be walking next to you because you're going to take the tree away and he'll have nothing to jump at. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. So that's how you start. Now eventually you're going to take that tree away and that's where Tua's at in the process. Is I, I don't have him walk around with that treat anymore. It's good if you're training him off leash because it keeps him engaged and not pulling away from you or anything like that. To a come. Very good. Good boy. But once I put the collar and leash on, I don't use that treat unless I feel like he's doing a uh, a decent enough job and I want to reward him and we'll just be walking along and I'll just reach down and give him a treat and we keep on walking or I'll have him sit at my side when we stop and I'll go ahead and give it to him just to reward him for doing a good job. So once, um, once you have him on leash and you take the treat away, 
you'll want to, as you go and tell them to a heel, you're going to want to just give them a slight physical tug on that. You're not ripping on it by any means. You just give them a slight pull to kind of coax them in the right direction with no treat to a heel. collar here is giving him slight corrections, slight adjustments. You're not going to want to really rip on them and you're never going to have to do that if you start when they're young pups like this. Heel. Heel. It's kind of like using reins on a horse. You're just, you're just showing them where you want them to go. And when you're starting with this leash, you can have the treat at your side to motivate them more. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. This is good for puppies that would be scared of their leash or still don't like the feeling. This would get them used to it. Good boy. So he's pretty good at when I stop, he goes into a sit. But it doesn't start like that. When you stop, you're going to have to physically make them sit or tell them to sit depending on where they're at in their training level. But like I said, he's, he's known heel now for a long time. I've worked on it from pretty much the day that we brought him home. Um, but it, it wasn't all, he was not always good like this. This is the one thing that you're going to have to work on the most and you're going to want to do it more than, than almost anything. And you have to stay consistent with it, stay diligent, because this is one of the hardest things to get them to do. And it's the one thing that you're going to want to do more than anything. And consistency more than anything with this command is key. Uh, you're going to do it their whole life. You're always going to want to take your dog for walks. And getting them going on this command early is so key, because when they're older, they're going to be more bullheaded and it's a habitual thing. You want it to become habit that they walk next to you. So that's how I do it. I'm sure there's many other ways that people do it. Um, this is what has worked for me. As you've seen in other videos I've done and if, as you've seen right now, it works. If you have a better way to do it and it's working, I would encourage you to do it. But I'm just showing you the way I do it. It, it works for me. The main thing, be consistent. It's not going to happen overnight. This is a very difficult one to master. So don't get frustrated. Take your time. Be consistent and it's going to be okay. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to conclude this video with that. Uh, we'll do another one soon, guys. Thanks.